We've got Skydio giving away its motion planning library. Uh, Skydio drones, things like auto follow and so forth. Uh, and I've heard people say that it's actually pretty freaking good. Uh, obstacle avoidance and auto follow. So is that the library we're talking about here, Drip Plenty? Uh, yeah, so the library that powers their motion planner and their computer vision systems is available now as a program um, or as a as a yeah a application system called SimForce, and it's essentially a um, it's C plus plus with Python bindings, and it essentially it generates an optimized code for you, um, and then can run optimization problems based on that code. So yeah, it's just a a library and set of tools that you can use if you need to do. Um, optimization with drones. So this is pretty neat. I'm interested to see how this will interact with um, different groups that have been doing this. You know, we've seen that open racing team that, that's been trying mm -hmm. to, we yeah. talked about that does the AI racers and stuff. And uh, hopefully this will integrate well into some of the work that's already being done and can push that forward. Well, this is the kind of code that is very difficult to write on your own. Um, not that people haven't done it, but it's it's extremely complex and intensive to do all the sensor integration and planning and so forth. And so for someone like Skydio to just put their libraries out there and say, you know, just do what you want uh, is a huge benefit uh, to other people who uh, can maybe benefit. They could use it directly or learn from the way that Skydio does it and uh, and improve their own code. So uh, what do you think Skydio's motiv motivation is here? Because, of course, this is a, a commercial advantage potentially to competitors. Uh, and I often think companies don't just do these things out of the goodness of their heart. What's in it for them? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would guess part of this is going to be based on like other people helping them learn stuff, but I'm not sure because if you look at it, it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a thing you run on something. So I don't know that it's like direct code you're running. It's mm. like you take code and optimize it with this sort of thing, or you take like system, like ideas and optimize them with this so um yeah i would I, i'm not totally sure i'm um, exactly how this is going to help um skydio in the future or if this is just some kind of nice gesture maybe they have a better system internally that they're using oh and this is something, there you go you know they're they're it's passing good, good on to pr people. well it's a cool um, move either way um yeah. before we get to the rant we're going to just take a second and go through the super chats i also want to acknowledge thank you rogers who has uh found out we were watching that was his drone in the waterfall uh think that's the right account uh how did you crash do you have dvr oh, yeah, that's what i want to know he must have heard we were talking about him what made you crash tell the truth did you like hit something or did you just go in the water did you lose yeah, video how did you break, an, how did you break, how did you break the, the arm water? yes or do you know yeah i want to know. know i want to see the dvr recording so we know what actually yeah. happened 